here's the website, idaho.at4all.com. It's a cooperative website between different organizations in Idaho as well as just individuals who can post assistive technology listings on the website. The website supports and provides uh, some great services. It houses the Idaho Assistive Technology Project's lending library of assistive devices, many of them state-of-the-art um, and very expensive, and it, it provides a, a way for the public to look at those items as well as loan them for free from the Idaho Assistive Technology Project. The website also provides reutilization of equipment, and it also provides uh, AT equipment management for other organizations in Idaho who would um, otherwise be unable to uh, manage their items in this, uh, in this simple and straightforward way. At the top you have your main navigation pane, and then you have your basic search field, as well as a more advanced search that you can conduct. And you can go ahead and just enter in any keyword here. So I'm going to enter in communication. And as you can see, this is going to pull up just a listing of all of the different communication devices that are currently available on the website. And after you do one of these searches, you're just going to get a listing like this. And it's going to show you different information about each item. So you'll have a brief description the title itself, and then um, if the device is currently available for, for loan, and if it is, um, where it's at. So this one here is at Life Inc. in Idaho Falls. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the title of this, and it will bring me to a different page with a more expanded description, a bigger picture, and if you click on that picture you'll get um, a larger view, and if there's multiple images for the listing, um, you'll have the option to cycle through those. And down below you'll get just some more um, background information on the device, usually how much it costs, maybe a manufacturer's website, uh, just some more background on it. So let's go back to the home page. And if at any time you need help uh, with this website or have questions about the listing, the easiest way is just to click on the Contact Us link at the top. And that's going to show you contact information for the Idaho Assistive Technology Project. Now the Idaho Assistive Technology Project isn't the only organization to list on this website, but the IATP does have the most items listed and they should be able to help you with any of your queries. And as you can see, everything I've done so far, I've done without an account. And so you can actually search through and use this website without an account, but let me show you how to uh, get some more advanced features by signing up. So you click on the Request a New Account tab, go ahead and fill this out, You'll have to verify it through your email, and then you'll uh, have an account. So let me uh, log in using my demo account information here. Once you sign in, as you can see on the top there, it'll show you your name, give you the option to log out, as well as view your bookmarks, which uh, I will show you what bookmarks are here in a second. Now let's go back to the items tab, and once you're logged into the website, you can do some uh, advanced features, uh, including adding your own items to the website. So if you want to do that, all you need to do is click on the add item tab here, and you can go ahead and list your own items. And you can also place a want listing, which uh, puts up a listing on the website um, saying that you're looking for a device, a uh, particular device, and that um, people, if, if they have that device, can go ahead and contact you based on that listing that you posted. And if you click on the items tab at any time, it will just show you a complete listing of everything that's available on the website. And as you can see, there are quite a few uh, listings as well as pages of listings. And if you click on the items tabs, you can actually uh, narrow down your search between uh, different categories. So if you want, you can click on the categories tab and just uh, pull up a listing of only those type of categories. You can select different types of classifications as well as type. You can also sort the items out by program. And this is really helpful if you want to see items that are only in your area. So say for instance that you are in Idaho Falls you can actually sort down the uh, items and only show the ones that are available from Life, Inc. in Idaho Falls.
And the uh, type menu is actually uh, fairly handy if you're looking for devices that are for sale or for free because there's not usually very many of them listed and um, sorting it out like this is a great way just to see those ones that are um, currently for sale or that are um, listed as for free. So I clicked on free items and that will pull up. Looks like there's 278 free items currently listed on this website. And so you can go ahead and browse through them. So as you can see, there's quite a few different uh, items. Let's click on this uh, cushion wheelchair seat that's currently available. And as you can see, it's free. And it's at Link in Boise. And if you're interested in contacting Link about this item, you can just click Show Contact Information and it will pull up uh, Link's contact information there in Boise. Another option you have once you're logged into the website is to use the bookmarking feature. So let's say I'm interested in this monster doll. I can go ahead and click on the bookmark tab and it will drop it into this uh, sidebar menu right here. And so this is a great feature if you want to search the website, but you want to be able to save uh, items that you're interested in for looking at later, or to kind of compare and contrast different items. So let's say I'm also interested in this cultivator. I can click on the bookmark tab and it shows up there underneath uh, the monster doll. And so I can go through and just bookmark items in this way, and then once I'm done, I can click on my bookmarked items button, and it will bring up just a comprehensive list of all of those items that I've bookmarked that I'm interested in. I've decided I want to request uh, the monster doll and I'd like to check that out. I can go ahead and just click on the title. And then scroll to the bottom and you can actually re request the loan straight from the website. And once you click on that button, it'll pull up this final page that you need to go through before that loan is actually requested. And it will show you who has that item their contact information and then you just need to select why you want the loan and then uh, once you click the submit loan request that request will go to the person who manages the item and they will contact you and let you know the best way to uh, pick up that item. So that is a brief introduction to the idaho.atforall.com website. If you'd like more information feel free to contact the Idaho Assistive Technology Project.